Hey guys, and welcome back to the car of the day. I am Sam Crack, and today we're going to take a quick look at a 2013 Audi S4 that the person that emailed me this car is wondering if it still has some life left to it. We're gonna to get to that in a moment. Now, if you have a car that you wanna send me to review for the car of the day, please feel free to email me at samcrackauto at gmail.com. Be sure to put in the subject line C-O-T-D. This could be anything on Copar IAA. It could be in Craigslist. It could be on Auto Trader. Anything you see, especially cars that are really interesting finds, be sure to send it to me. It might just be featured here. And hey, I'll be sure to mention you. And if you have some sort of social networking or anything that you want mentioned as well, I'm happy to do so. Now, a viewer by the name of Atticus sent in this Audi S4 and he writes, Hey Sam, I found this Audi S4 that is completely smashed, but in one of the photos, it shows the tachometer at idling RPMs. Can you tell me why it still runs? And maybe it's a trick of the auction or dealer. And so as soon as I heard that, I saw the first photo, it really intrigued me. How could a car that's in this poor of condition still run? But Atticus, there's a lot to this listing. Let's dive right in, take a look at it, and go into further detail. So when we take a look at the first details, we see that it has an Illinois salvage certificate, which is really interesting. Take a look at this first image. This car has a salvage certificate, meaning that if you went ahead with the rebuild process, you could technically rebuild this car and be issued a rebuild title in most states. I don't think anybody is crazy enough to do it. Uh, but you technically could. It reads zero miles on the odometer and that's our first tip that things aren't working electronically. Uh, it says that it's an enhanced vehicle. Okay, let me give you the quick description since a lot of people have asked about this. The seller has authorized, the Copart is authorized to perform an enhancement service to the vehicle. This designation does not guarantee that any enhancement service was completed, but rather indicates that qualifying vehicles would likely be enhanced. Now, again, by the looks at this first photo, it means nothing. A lot of the times I say it means nothing, but that's just because of the condition this car is clearly in. You see, an enhanced vehicle could be something like a flood car, something that still has some extra moisture left in it. It's a really nice car, a newer car. They might go ahead, extract that moisture out. So you're left with something that looks really great and clean in photos. And of course, when things look better in photos, people typically bid more. It's just a good way to do business, even if you're selling on eBay, Craigslist, anything like that. Let's continue going on. The seller is State Farm Insurance. So Atticus, we already know this car is for sale by the insurance company so likely no sort of uh, cover-ups or anything like that it says the primary damage is a rollover we can clearly see that from the photo and they tell us the estimated retail value $35,198 doesn't matter funny enough the car has keys but let's go ahead and take a look at these photos this car is hardly even a car anymore it's pretty much just a piece of twisted metal if we continue looking uh, we can see a little bit more of the car on the driver's side. You can still see it's pretty crushed in really well, including the roof. That front frame is completely twisted. That tire is completely off the rim. Uh, if we keep looking back, okay, here's a little bit more of this car from the rear. It's got a bunch of grass stuck in it from where it rolled over. Uh, your rear wheel looks like it's intact. Who knows if it's bent or whatnot. Here's another angle showing us quite a bit of damage. And here's the interior. A lot of debris made its way into this car. Likely a lot of the windows shattered, a lot of different things occurred. And uh, this is not the sort of car you obviously want for anything more than parts, at least in my opinion. Comment down below if uh, you have some other reason you'd want this car. But anyway, we take a look at the rear seats. They're intact. We see the curtain airbag has deployed. Front end is real nasty and here, is this shot that we've been waiting for and what Atticus wants to know more about. We see the engine RPM uh, at what looks like an idling RPM. My Audi S3 idles right around this 900, 1000 area. And uh, the speedometer even shows that it's right around the five mile an hour mark. But Atticus, let's be real here. There's no power to this car. Nothing is turned on and even the plastic for the odometer and whole gauge cluster has been shattered. This car has been battered hard enough 
that this gauge pretty much failed. Who knows if this is the certain engine speed or RPM that the car was in during the accident and it just got stuck there. But there's nothing going on here out of the ordinary. The car was just damaged hard enough that the needle was stuck on the cluster. If we go and look at any more photos, my God, look at that roof. Repairing a roof is one of the things I like uh, the least when doing these uh, repairs on cars. And needless to say, this, again, is a parts car, obviously. So working on many different personal cars in the past, I have actually seen gauges, not typically a gauge cluster, uh, fail in its entirety and get stuck on a number, but I have seen gauges do strange things. I've seen boost gauges get stuck where it actually will show that the car is making boost, the car could be off. I've seen gauges do all sorts of funny things. Now, strangely enough, the one thing that is missing from these photos is the engine shot. And that's when this car could make for an interesting one. If your engine is still intact, and I know a lot of people are thinking, what do you mean is the engine still intact? This car is in a horrible condition. It does happen. These cars roll over, they get thrashed, but a lot of the times, while you might have broken pulleys and things like that on the outside, internally these engines can come out unscathed. And right there you've got a 2013 Audi S4. This car has a three liter supercharged motor. It's worth a good amount of money in the parts resale business. So a car like this will still likely sell. As we see, the current bid is at $225 and the car hasn't even been given an auction day yet. So this car will be sold. Some people will use some of the parts in it, whether it's interior bits, um, whether it is the transmission engine, there's gonna be some really good usable parts even on a car that looks this bad. So anyway guys, if you see something like this in the future where a car is in really bad shape, but it looks like the engine is running, well, one of two things is going on. Either the engine is running, in fact, and in that case, you'll see a lot more lights on on the dashboard, or everything just failed all at the right moment and the gauge got stuck. And of course, guys, make sure you definitely check out all the details. I know the first thing I do is like to look at all the photos, but just by looking at the details of this lot, Copart lists it without being a starts or a run and drive. So we know by the details, this car doesn't even run. But I have seen at Copart Auctions cars that just have really dead batteries and they don't get it to start for whatever reason. The car mechanically runs very well and sometimes doesn't even have a check engine light and it starts with a jump. That's another story for another day and we'll talk about it very soon. Now, if you saw something on this Audi S4 that maybe I didn't catch, maybe you had an additional question about this car or one like it, be sure to comment in the comment section below. I like to read everything you guys have to say. Also, if you have any additional questions, be sure to email me or write me on Instagram. Definitely follow me on Instagram as well because I have a really neat project I'm hoping coming up soon and I want you guys to be a part of it and it's gonna be announced first there. So be sure to do that. Everything you need to do to email me, contact me is in the description box below. Thanks a lot for watching guys. If you enjoyed this one, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and I will catch you very soon.